It has been a tragic 24 hours here in the city of Indianapolis with three people dead in three separate incidents, all involving IMPD officers. It's prompted protests and people wanting answers. Tonight, we're working to get you information about all of these cases. We want to start our team coverage with our Karen Campbell tonight, who joins us from the north side of Indianapolis. This is where a 21-year-old man was shot and killed by police last night and where large groups have gathered today. Chief Randall Taylor says he knows the community is hurting, and he vowed transparency and compassion during this investigation. Now, today's gathering was a mostly peaceful gathering as people came out to remember the life of 21-year-old Deshaun Reed. Family, friends, and loved ones gathered in downtown Indy to remember the life of 21-year-old Drayshawn Reed and call for police accountability. I just want justice for my son's murder. I mean, police shouldn't have did him like that. It's just, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Reed's father staying strong for his family. On Wednesday, investigators say Reed evaded police, later jumping out of his car and running away, recording the entire incident on Facebook Live. An officer tried using a taser, but it wasn't working. They fired, striking Reed, killing him. Investigators say about 15 shell casings were recovered from the scene. Oh, uh, it's my little brother. I'm supposed to protect my little brother. <laughs> I can't protect my brother. <laughs> A separate gathering at the place of his death, 62nd and Michigan Road. Roughly 100 people took to the streets with signs in hand, peacefully gathering as police helped to control traffic. A handful of people expressing their pain and frustration. Yes, we're angry, but we got to put this, we got we to gotta put this to another entity soon. Can't keep losing all our, our young black men every single month. This is just getting ridiculous. We're losing them in, in, in bundles. The African-American Coalition of Indianapolis says that they would prefer an external independent investigation.